Hello, good afternoon YouTube. Right, Athens, here we go. We need to build a few things. Manhattan Project is pointless, so let's just get the hotel in. Uh, and then the hospital and the stadium. Um, and then what we were doing, we were, we were just quickly building cavalry, weren't we? Just a few cavalry just to go around the map. And find us, um, you know, just to go and explore a little bit. Uh, this engineer, here we go. Like that. We've got a few manufactories dotted around now that hopefully will be increasing our production somewhat. Again, we've got on science focus at the moment, but I'm tempted to move to default focus. Okay, that will do for now. Um, means some of the some of the researchers won't be being used, but that is absolutely fine. Um, yeah. So, how are you guys doing? You're right. I have this. This. I'm. I'm kind of excited in the fact that this Greek well, game is going to be the last one I actually play on this laptop. So, um, I'm looking forward to that. Citrus for Paris says, "Yeah, that'll do." I'm very much looking forward to that one, actually. Germany has denounced Russia. I mean, look, Rome is just incredibly big. It's really cool. Really cool, actually. What, England? You're calling my empire puny? My, I swear my empire's bigger than yours. Come on now. Come now. No, it's not. All right, fair enough. I'll give you that much. Napoleon has ended the information era. Very nice. Now, we've got a ton of uranium, actually. Ah, oh, maybe we shouldn't have uh, given up atomic bombs, eh? <laughs> um, processing turn for Rome. Got the hotel up and running now. We've got a bit more tourism. That's good. Okay, nothing like as much as we're going to need to win the game. Look at that. Rome has still got 100, minus 112. We need people to go to freedom now. At least Freedom's giving me really um, uh, extra World well, Congress votes, I'm just thinking of it. Yeah, so we, we managed to pick up 30 votes. I mean, that's not bad, considering just the, the speed of which people have been destroyed. Um, Corinth, back you go. Thank you very much. Um, yeah, so Ur and Zurich, if I find these three over there, um, hopefully, so where's my cavalry? My cavalry's going to take forever to get there. Marseille has been captured by Rome. That's always a bit worrying, isn't it? Where is my cavalry? There he is. Oh god, he's a long way. He's a long way, but it's fine. Once he once he gets into the into the um, opposition land, he'll be able to use the road networks a little bit to get to where he needs to be. Boosters are being finished. Ah, now actually, the nuclear plant is going to be great for us. That extra fifteen percent production should be pretty useful, actually. Work has begun in the stadium. To be honest, oh, we don't really need a stadium, do we? Let's just get that cavalry, that one more cavalry done. Um, and then we'll continue to build up our little army. Cockpit, eight turns. Now, for now, we're going to build our rocket artillery, a few of theirs, and then some surface drive missiles. Cool. Once we've got a few of those, I think we'll we'll try and take uh I don't think Ur and Zurich are gonna be tricky. It's just gonna be whatever navy the Danes have, which considering they have a large chunk of the Mediterranean, it's likely to be a large navy, but um You never know. You never know, do you? Do, 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 so long turns. It's the one problem about playing big games. As I say, as I say, new laptop on the way. We should be alright. Oh, let's just have a check back in on my victory progress, shall we? How are people doing? You can see it still puts me as 12, even though I've completed the Apollo program. But you know, look at that. Germany and, and Denmark are, are both on just two pieces away, actually. Um, and I can build one of those pieces, but not these three. So I'd say I'm kind of level with Catherine and, and Caesar, maybe a little behind them at the moment. Still possible. Still possible, but um, it's going to be very tricky. Right, sentry. Off you go. You need to go up here. Thank you. And when I go to war with Denmark, I've got to make sure that I... Um, 
Got to make sure that I have got my cavalry safe and out of their territory before I do. Fine, Germany, you denounce me if you have to, but really, when you think about it, we're not so different. We're not so different, you and I. You'd like me if you got to know me. I think. How's the World Congress doing apart from us? I mean, you can see here we've got 30 votes. We're climbing up slowly with all of the different vote uh, inactions, but yeah, it looks like I can go fourth from previous world leader attempts. So Russia has benefited from them like I have. Russia's sort of clawing along with me. Uh, adopt a policy. Here we go. We're in a golden age. We've got lots of stuff coming in. Level two. What can we do? Specialists and cities produce half the amount of unhappiness. Golden ages are longer. That would be good. Uh, six free golden, uh, foreign inventory. That would be quite good. Landmarks and great improvements and produce plus four of the yield. Yes. Oh, that's good. Let's do that quickly. I guess there's a ton more production. Look at that. Wow. Bam. 263 now. 268, sorry. It's that sort of that sort of level of production that is gonna be one of the thing that keeps us in the game. I mean look at this, there you go, Athens. Almost population 50. That's insane. That's really good. And that's without any any form of um trade route coming into it. If it was on the coast. Like, for instance, if it was where um Jerusalem is, so not much in the way of sea tiles, but you know, routes to come in from the sea. You could make these so much bigger. Um, I mean, for instance, Athens has 40 food coming into it. Just four or five routes would double the growth on, on Athens. So you can see just what I'm missing out on. Elizabeth, there's no point completing the Manhattan Project. You can't build nukes because we've banned it. Well, I guess unless they unban it, I guess. But um, why would you do that? There's no reason to do that. All right, Danish destroyers. Very nice. Come on, just just make your way, please. I don't care how you do it. Sign delegates. Good. Me, again. And thank you. Is my cavalry... Yeah, my cavalry's on the way now. Good. Promoting unit. Rocket artillery. Okay, we're slowly arming ourselves. Very slowly arming ourselves. Still, we're, we're, we're still way down in, in terms of soldiers, but... We're no longer the squashable fly that we once were. Ah, bazookas. Ah, oh, these are so good. I love bazookas. The upgrade between machine guns and bazookas is like 10 gold or something ridiculous. Which is always very handy in the later stages of the game. Unlike to machine guns from Gatling guns, which is like 220. Yeah, cheers. Thanks for that. Much help. Um... I wish there was a way that you could upgrade them without using gold. Like you sort of you put them into a city and like a certain amount of production goes into them to you know to work over the top. Something like that. That would I would feel that would be quite good. Um Maybe that could be a mod. Who knows? Or troops that upgrade themselves automatically, maybe? I guess that would kind of take away from a lot of the bits and pieces in the game. There you go, look, my, my, I've only got a tenth of the pointy sticks that Denmark and Russia do, but never mind. Um, okay, a proposal, another proposal for us. What are we going to do? Um, should we try and get our world religion through? Desert beats. Importantly, Rome and Russia. Don't get unhappy if I do that. Let's try and do that. That'll give us extra votes, and we've got 32 to force it through. It's not like we're going to um, struggle with it. We, we, we still we still have a fleeting chance. A very fleeting chance. Oh no, Caesar and Germany have both gone to war with... I mean, Germany going to war with, with England is, is pretty pointless, to be honest. But Rome going to war with, with England, is, is that's not so good. Very good. Fine, everyone's going to denounce me now because I'm messing around with the World Congress. That's what, that's what Greece is supposed to do, you know? I'm supposed to force stuff through like that. Oh, come on, France, you practically follow my religion as it is. Look, Desert Beats is in your capital. In fact, you've got more Desert Beats cities than you do anything else, come on. 
Ugh. Picky. That's what that is. Picky. Look at the gun and rocket artillery. Good. Done. Right. You wait there. John Adams. Oh, hello. Right, quickly go to Denmark for me. Thank you. Go and acquaint yourselves with them. Athens is, is pretty much almost done with it. With that wave of uh, rocket artillery that I wanted it to build. Oh, the cam's getting a bit laggy. Sorry, I'm having to zoom in a bit because I don't want... If, if I'm too far zoomed out, it, it becomes very slow and glitchy. I need to minimise what's going on on the screen. Otherwise, it does struggle, bless it. <laughs> oh, dear. Going up with policies now, which is all good. We need kind of a tank or, or, or something fast moving, don't we? In order to keep up with the rocket artillery and, and to actually take the cities. Um, I'll have to think about that, actually. Ah, advanced ballistics. Here we go. We're almost there. Um, there we go. Open terrain. Good. Um, right, you go to there quickly. I'll do. Um, right, now, let's just quickly, before we build that, build a nuclear plant. Get that set up. Thank you. That's going to have a massive boost to my production. Let's just have a quick look. See just how much. Um, I reckon that's going to give, what does it give? 15% extra. So, what, 25 extra production? Something like that? It's not bad. Child Adams, come on, doesn't matter. Just get get to uh, roughly. What's my cavalry doing? You anywhere near yet? Nah, it's still in the seat. Trying to make its way through submarines, Polish submarines. Fair enough. Yeah, as I said, if I can make a quick dash to those... Um, Quick dash to their city states. I might be in a better position, actually. I'm gold focus. I'm gonna switch to gold focus. Save a bit of a bit of money so I can do quests for the city. Well, give the gold to the city states as quickly as I can. Um. Oh, Rome has barbarian power troopers in it. Hmm. That's not good for them. There we go, look. Ah, Rome is beginning to fall. If I can get them to freedom, that'll be good for us in the longer run. Our words are backed with nuclear weapons. All right, fair enough. That's fine. You, you know, if, if you want to, that's how you want to live your society. I'm not going to complain. I'm not going to judge you. I mean, I'm going to judge you, but I'm not going to judge you that much or that hard. I'm a lovely person, really. I'm going to let you just deal with your barbarian troopers. You see, I could, I could go and shoot them, but nah. <laughs> nah. Advanced ballistics. We're we good. Oh, wow, sorry. My phone is buzzing away. Lots of people are bringing me. How, how unprofessional. How very unprofessional. Um, what am I going to do? Yeah, hopefully when the nuclear power plant is done, that should be able to get a lot of the troops. Here we go, much, much quicker. Oh, come on. Why are you plundering my... Tr oh, fine. Come on, Rome, sort that out quickly. I'll come and do it for you. If that, if that isn't being friendly, I don't know what is. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, let's just switch to gold there, because it doesn't make too much of a difference, to be honest. But, um... That'll do for now. Right, cool. How am I doing touristically? Still exotic with most people, to be honest. How's Russia doing? I imagine Russia must be pretty close to being, uh, to winning this thing now. Yeah, look at that. These four turns. Oh, it's beginning to narrow down now. Greece, still 102 turns with me. 
I'm producing quite a lot of Tor uh, culture per turn, so I'm going to be difficult to take. But, um, yeah, no, I'm sure I'm sure they'll find a way. Enact historical landmarks. To be honest, if that goes through, that would be quite good for me. Um, concert tour. There you go. Familiar now. Oh-ho! Oh ho ho! Hopefully that means that Denmark will beginning to get a bit of a mm, come on, I'm giving you influence towards freedom. Uh, next turn that'll sort itself out. Um you go back there. Good, good, good. Wonderful. Surface throwing missiles are being sorted now. Our cavalry is now near Warsaw. Oh, not too far away from Melbourne, actually, at all. That's awesome. In fact, it's not far from Vancouver. I might, um... I might take control of him, actually, now. Oh, look at that, XCOM squads. Poland has XCOM squads, people. We do not have long left. We do not have long left at all. If people have got XCOM squads, I'll show you why that means we don't have long. Um... There we go. It means people can actually start to get the stasis chamber, which is one of the last pieces. All the elections are being rigged, as ever. Good. It's fine. Um, we have our Sam's. Good. Right. Oh, no, for God's sake, would you stop? Right, you alert there. Stupid marines. Or as they would say in Borderlands, bloody mercs. Um, ah, apparently rocket artillery can't quite see as far. Never mind, you wait there for a turn. Um, awesome. Well, I mean, it's difficult to know how we're doing. Cavalry. I'm going to take control, yeah, just before we, yeah, before I log off for today and just take control of that cavalry. Um, I mean, as I say, I, I'm, I'm so close to Vancouver. Once we get to Vancouver, going to Melbourne and then to Buenos Aires is, is a pretty, pretty simple, actually. Um, and hopefully our other cavalry, work, it shouldn't be too far off here. Yep, here he comes up the sea. Not far at all. Nancy. It's Nancy, everybody. Yay. Um, are they surrounding me de deliberately? I think they are, aren't they? It's a shame I can't see through all of these um, forests, actually. It's highly annoying. Right, let's just take control so I remember to actually move him next time. But until then, thank you very much for watching. Yeah, as I said, next time we're going we're gonna to try and take over those last few city-states. We, we don't need too many votes. But... You know, we're still in it. We're still in it. We might be able to slip under the radar. It all depends on how quickly people complete that science victory. But until then, I'll see you in a bit. Bye!